Hi guys, today's lesson is going to be on our mini starfish. This is a special request or idea from Georgia on my YouTube page. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Georgia. She decided that it would be a great idea to turn the forks of the rake into this mini starfish. It's still going to be a loomless tutorial, so please follow along. Once again, thanks Georgia. I appreciate it. If you'll take a moment and set up your workspace to look similar to what I have right here. We are going to be needing 15 bands total. And if you'd like to set them up in rows of three, 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 and this is going to be our securing band for the end. So take a moment and set up your workspace. You can choose whichever colors you wish. Here I have got a um, peach color. Today I'm actually going to be using pink to go along with some of the other items in my beach, beach series. Also, you will find a larger starfish. This is going to be the medium starfish. You'll find that on my channel. This is a loomless item also. And then the bigger starfish, that's going to be the large. So we've got mini, medium, and large. So I hope you guys will follow along with some of those other lessons, but let's get started with the mini starfish right now. You want to take just your hook because it is loomless a single rubber band that you have over here in your pile and you're going to wrap it around your hook four times. I do this by counting one as I place my hook through, twist and two, twist and three, twist and four. And this is going to have what looks like four bands showing up on your hook. Our next step is to take a single band, twist it around our fingers, and we're going to pull that four band over and then we need to reclaim. And this is going to be the technique that we use for the whole entire starfish. Grab another third band, twist it on your finger, pull it through and reclaim. Now that we have three on our hook, we're going to let those stay on our hook and we're just going to push them back slightly further. Then we're going to build the remaining four on our hook up here. So we want to keep that right there. So take another single band. We're going to twist it around our hook four times. One, two, three, and four. So we have four on our hook, single band, twist on our fingers and we're going to pull this one through. I have one more band here, so it'll be a single band. Twist on my fingers and pull through. And now we're going to slide that one over onto our hook. Single band. We need to cap this one with a four time. One, two, three, and four. So it looks like we have four loops on our hook, single band, double twisted, and we're going to pull this through, single band, double twisted, and pull that through, and reclaim. And we're going to slide that on our hook back further. That's going to be my securing band, so I just need to set it aside for a moment. I need to do another cap four time. One, two, three, and four. A single band. We're going to double twist on our fingers and pull through. And reclaim. This is a double twist band, again on our fingers and pull through and reclaim. And we're gonna scoot that one down on our hook. So now we have four, a cap band again. One, two, three, and four. And there's a little piece of fuzz there. Single band, 
double twisted and we're going to pull that four over and through and reclaim. A single band, double twisted, pull through and reclaim. So now we have got five little pieces, one, two, three, four, and five. We have five little pieces on our hook. Our next step is to take that single rubber band and we're going to transfer all five of these over here onto that single rubber band. So no twisting, but we want to stretch it out and just transfer those five onto that rubber band. So now I have all five on the rubber band and I'm going to secure off the rubber band on my hook and we're going to slip knot that by taking this first end and flipping it over the end of the hook or pulling through. And we just want to tighten it up and here we have got an adorable mini little starfish. You want to hide your dangle band or you can leave your dangle band open if you're using it as a charm. But here's our cute little mini starfish. I'm going to hide my dangle band right now just so it'll lay better. Just pull that through anywhere. Just give a little hide and tuck. And I use a smaller hook for hiding my dangle bands. But here you go with just a little bit of fiddling and playing. We've got an adorable mini little starfish. And I'm just going to zoom in a little closer on that one for you guys. So here we've got our little teeny starfish. And I hope you guys enjoy your loomless mini starfish and you'll stay tuned for the medium size and also the larger starfish. Thank you guys so much.